Dio di Dicchi e Giorgio. What on earth? Well, it looks and sounds like uh, Ribold is casting a spell. But he's not hostile. I wonder if this has to do with the fact of uh, what Lily did with the Salamic Knights. Of course, that mage that was hired was an acquaintance of his. What's he doing? Oh, okay. It's because we're invisible. That makes sense. I guess he heard people at the door. What? He doesn't like people uh, invisible in his shop. I can understand that. Man. Really thought that was uh, having to do with his mage friend. All right. Ripe old Bartman at your service. All right, paying 50 gold to see the special stock. First thing she's going to do is buy these uh, awfully expensive scrolls. Man. I think the cheapest was actually a few thousand. I tried to organize as much as possible, but like I said, there might be some painful points in here. Power word blind. All right. Now here's a great example. Black Blade of Disaster. She'll never cast this, <laughs> but she has to buy it. And possibly learn it. All right. It's just awfully silly. All right, Black Blade Disaster. And uh, Chain Contingency. Boy, this coin's gonna go quick. Energy Drain. What else? Power Word Kill. Boy. Shape Change. Here's the last one, Spell Strike. All right, that's good, but we need to buy a recharged wand. I think that's, those were the scrolls she wanted to buy. All right, boy, that goes quick. All right, let's sell uh, some things. Holding on to Ixel's body parts, the spike and the nail. Uh, something can be done with those. We're not interested in the uh, wand of cursing. Gonna hold on to the normal weapons in case we see another magic golem. This we could probably uh, have this maybe even reforged, but we'd really rather have the coin. So, just gonna sell it. It's kind of a shame. It's a nice weapon, Tower Lash. Also, this Club of Detonation, but. We don't want that 7% chance even with summons around. All right. Buying back the Wand of Spell Striking. Okay. What else is in here? Got to sell those books <laughs> for a gold piece each. All right. Braces of Blinding Strike. Selling. Finally selling the Wand of Wonder. Never use it. <laughs> she needs the coin right now. I think as we'll see. I think we're going to be forced. I can't remember if I brought this up. Well, we'll see if it comes up. I don't want to scare anybody. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll have to look at the other stock to sell some of these items. All right, scrolls. No. Those are the gems we're keeping. Can probably sell... We need to buy a Potion of Master Thievery. All right, selling a Potion of Insight. Here we go, Minor Healing. Selling the Lesser Charged Wand of the Heavens. Selling the Wand of Fire. She still needs both Mind Focusing and Genius Potions, I think. Can't sell any of those. Selling the Wand of Sleep. The lesser charge, magic missiles, spell striking. All right. This is really just for buying gems, which is kind of crazy. All right. Here we 
we have in here? All right, miscellaneous gems and jewelry. Okay. The Adventure Mart's the finest shopping in all of Faerun. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, fair and plain. All right, I need to look through again to see uh, what he'll buy this time with the normal stock. Still won't buy the books. All right, he'll buy the case of plenty of bolts that Jan was using. We don't need any more. We have 280 plus three arrows. I think we'll sell these. All right, selling the any bolts. One arrow of ice. <laughs> Where does this come from? All right. Wish we could sell the silver sword. All right. to buy the Potion of Master Thievery. Should have one. Okay. That leaves a stack of five. All right. Okay. All right, I think we're in good shape then. So now it's just about buying gems. And uh, one of the more expensive ones, King's Tear. Let's see what we can uh, afford. Here it is. Wow. One King's Tear. Two Star Sapphires. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to go forward and then find out that uh, it's impossible to do something because of uh, the gems that we sold to uh, Sister Garlena. I'd rather do it this way than something with the console, I guess. All right, so two star sapphires and two emeralds. Now here's the catch. We need to buy another King's Tear. <laughs> and the only place we know where it is, is uh, with the Durgar merchants in the Underdark. And they don't like to deal with surfacers. we has got a rotten price. Yeah, 7,000 gold. So, we're gonna go there. I think there might be some opposition on the way. Hopefully, actually, a little bit. So not only will it be an opportunity for Nalia to stretch her legs, maybe we can get a little bit of plunder enough to buy one King's Tear from the Durgar <laughs> merchants in the Underdark. And if not, she's going to have Nalia try to steal it, which will probably not work. I don't know. So it's going to be a little bit of an expedition in itself. All right, but I think we're done here, right? Potion of Master Thievery. Yeah, now we just have that painful business. Let's see what we have. She's learning these. Okay. That's good. Yeah, Phobane, I think we want to hold on to because it has such exceptional damage versus, uh, Outsiders and undead, even though Mazzy's not as skilled with that as she is with the short sword. All right, these we're holding on to. Okay. It's good, one of the heavens, and now one has two wands. Oh, Potions of Master Thievery for Analia. Okay. Oops. All right. Yes? 
Yeah, we can't buy, uh, obviously, any of the other things that she was entertaining, like Val Hallier's Helm, to have two Mazzies, or... <laughs> just don't have the coin for it. Those are kind of pipe dreams, anyway. Alright, but we are, uh, 